to see me through glass. I'm whispering because you join me in the business lounge for the Eurostar because today I'm off to Paris. This week is the start of the Paris Motor Show and tonight Infinity are launching their project Black S. Today is International Coffee Day, potentially my favourite day of the year. Now, I've been excited about the Project Black S ever since I saw the concept uh, last year at the Geneva Motor Show. Next up is this mean looking thing, the Infinity Project Black S. It's part of my ongoing work with Infinity. Tonight, I'm hosting some of their Facebook Live from the launch event. So, I'm gonna chuck down this espresso, get on the Eurostar and get to Paris. I freaking love Paris. There's just something about this city which is like, I mean, check that out, look at my view. My hotel room tonight is pretty insane. But anyway, it's getting close to the start of the Project Black S launch event, so I need to get changed into my official presenting gear and then head to the venue. This video is full of me whispering. Um, I'm now down at the Black S uh, event, but there's lots of people here, so I feel a bit awkward vlogging. But anyway, I'm gonna try and capture as much of what's going on. Uh, as I mentioned, I am then gonna be presenting some stuff for the Facebook Live, post that, and then hoping to get up close and um, personal with the car, show you the details, talk you through it. So um, yeah, bear with me. I'm not entirely sure how the flow of this event's gonna go. Uh, we're going to try and capture as much of it as possible. It feels like a very different skill set doing this live stuff. I've just done a sort of walkthrough now with the uh, cameras and trying to remember lots of different bits of information and keep everything flowing and fluid. It's a different skill to YouTube videos in which I usually take about 17 takes to do these pieces to camera. So I'm starting to feel a little bit uh, nervous on edge now. I've got about 15 minutes to go. I'm doing a sort of a preamble, a, a teaser before the actual reveal, doing a couple of interviews and then walking around the car once it has been unveiled. So I'm excited, um, but yeah, uh, a little nervous. Hello one and all, my name is Sam. You join me in Paris for the launch of the Infinity Project Black S. It's an incredibly exciting event that you are joining us on. The Project Black S is a direct result of Infinity's technical partnership with the Renault Formula One team. And I am joined by Tommaso Volpe, who is the director of global motorsport at Infinity. And uh, you can tell me a little bit more about what that means. What is that partnership that you have with the Renault F1 team? Yeah, the partnership we have with Renault Sport Formula One team is a, is a very strategic one for us. Is this the first time that we're going to see that sort of Formula One technology and learnings in a road car or in an Infinity road car at least? Yes, it's correct. The, no, the traditional hybrid technology in, in uh, homologated vehicles is a single system, so it recovers energy only from the kinetic uh, of the braking, the kinetic energy from braking. Uh, what is very unique in Formula One is that the hybrid is a dual system, so it recovers while braking and while accelerating because it recovers also the heat from the uh, turbine, the exhaust heat going through the turbine. And this is what we did for the black case. So it's a dual system recovering energy while braking and while accelerating. This is pretty much unique. I'm incredibly excited as well. So hold tight, uh, the reveal is about to happen. There we go, the Project Black S. I hope you are all as blown away as I am. I'm now joined by the designer, Matt Weaver, and I have to say congratulations on what I think is a stunning creation. Uh, what are your immediate feelings now that the car's been unveiled officially? 
Um, oh, thank you, Sam. Uh, yeah, super excited. Uh, it's gone from a sort of design study to a full working prototype. And, you know, in terms of design, when you add that kind of genuine aspect to one of the, a car like this, it's as dramatic as this, it's really, uh, for us, you know, a great achievement and a great level. And a really nice fluid working technique with Renault Motorsport as well. Formula One team, that's a unique experience. Something we didn't get, don't get to do very often with design, to be honest. I actually saw the, the sort of initial concept, I guess, last year at Geneva. Uh, this car is very similar, if not, as we were just discussing off camera, better uh, visually. Uh, what have you sort of had to concede on? What did you have to change from that sort of initial design to what we're looking at today? So it's a really interesting word, concede. Uh, in a normal design process, concede is a good word because we would have restrictions on production or safety. Actually, working with the engineers, uh, on pure engineering and performance, I would say they enhance the design. So actually when we thought we were extreme last time, we were asked to actually reevaluate. We've had to go through uh, a lot of testing, CFD testing, aerodynamic testing, cooling, dynamics handling, and actually it's made the car even more extreme. For example, there's more cooling on the front, there's more downforce on the rear wing. Uh, so the car's actually been enhanced uh, by the engineering process. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's really something quite special. Uh, and I should say, the, some of the elements are actually directly from Renault uh, Formula One. For example, the rear cord on the rear wing is from the Monza load downforce uh, wing. So we've adapted that with those guys onto this car. They've tested it with us. We've come back. At one point, there was so much downforce on the car, it probably wouldn't move. So we're, we're bouncing things around, and now the car's set up pretty well. So, yeah. Matt, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for joining us. I really appreciate you taking the time and answer the questions. I'll let you uh, answer some other people's questions. I'm sure there are lots here. So thank you for joining us very much. I have now finished hosting the Infinity Facebook Live, which means I can finally check out this car in detail. Now, as you can see behind me, it is absolutely surrounded by people there, press, journalists, I don't know who else, but there's lots of people here. So I'm going to do a proper Shmi 150 and just try and dive in there, get all argy-bargy with my elbows and point out a lot of the details about this vehicle. So visually, I think this thing has so much presence. One of the coolest features is up here on the bonnet. You can see these opening holes, but look underneath them, they have like Formula One style fins. These are like a direct link back to the front wing on a Formula One car, but really aid with the sort of release of pressure and the additional cooling that is required. So yes, very angry front end. You can see how low the actual car sits on its wheels there. The car has been lowered in general over a standard Q60, as you would expect. We've got the black S logo there, which I have found out on the during the Facebook Live. They are looking to potentially roll out into other models over the years. This is just the sort of start of the new black S Monica. How race car is all of this? We've got carbon fibre seats, harnesses, fire extinguisher. The rear seats have been removed. In place there's a carbon fibre shell there which can be taken out very quickly because that houses a lot of the hybrid uh, technology so that needs to be removed in case of any issues. But look at these switches. These are taken, in, well inspiration is taken directly for these from the Formula One steering wheel and they can, they, uh, they operate a lot of the sort of hybrid technology I love that I actually quite like uh, all of these sort of black and yellow bits on the seats uh, other than that it's recognizably quite Q60 around the back you can see a little bit more aero uh, just sort of hanging off the rear bumper but one of the coolest things is this rear wing uh, all right, mate. Um, yes that rear wing there which is directly inspired by the low downforce rear wing from the Renault F1 car at Monza, uh, which I think is amazing. It actually looks a bit like a Formula One rear wing. I've come back outside the main room because I'm just I'm not Shmi 150 enough. I can't put up with all those crowds. But anyway, yeah, it's important for me to say that a lot of these sort of uh, hardcore facts and stats about the car are still unknown. Like Formula One, they've developed the Project Black S mainly in simulation. So its first sort of uh, track test or real life test will come later in this year. Uh, the hope is to get 0.60 sub four seconds, but things like weight and 0 to 124 and other interesting facts and stats are still a little unknown. They have replaced a ton of parts with carbon fibre, so it is a lot lighter. They've removed those back seats, as you saw, but of course they've added weight with all those complicated systems. Now, it's easy for me to say, being here working with Infinity, that I'm excited about that car, but it does actually tick so many boxes for me. F1 Tech, F1 Inspired, a cool company that are awesome to work with, 
and it just looks mean and aggro. It's kind of like muscle car esque. It's not really supercar. It's front engine, which we all know is my sort of preference in life. That's really a bit of me. Now we don't know anything about price or numbers or whatever. And as I say, still a long way to go. But in prospect, considering how much I freaking love the original concept a year or so ago, and now how much I love the actual real life car, that's something I want to keep an eye on. I genuinely. And I feel like maybe because of all the stuff I've been doing with Infinity, I could get my name on the list for one of those, couldn't I? Potentially. Anyway, it's a while off, I think, any customer deliveries, but you know, I'm going to go and ogle it a little bit more. And then we've got apparently a very fancy, funky dinner tonight uh, in a very trendy restaurant, so stay tuned. Now made it to the restaurant that we're having dinner in. This, where is he? Oh, he's here ruining things. Uh, Tom is uh, also attending the, uh, or attended the lunch earlier. It's a very fancy restaurant. I don't really know how to behave. It's all a bit awkward, but I'm going to try and vlog the food. Well, it turns out that that restaurant was far too funky and dark to vlog in, so a bit of a fail to the end of the video, but I hope you've enjoyed the video anyway. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.